Okay, so what? <laughs> okay, so today we're here to make a quick and easy buffer. Uh, this is an earlier version that I had. Um, it's starting to be, have a bit of wear and tear, and we're going to be using it a bit more often. So I need to make some more. This is what the generally the finished product will look like. Uh, item you need for construction: uh, uh, heat-resistant polyethylene, po polyethylene pipe. Uh, it's 20 millimeters. Got this from Bunnings Warehouse. A pull noodle, a uh, small hole on the end of it, also got this from Bunnings Warehouse, and duct tape, also from Bunnings Warehouse. That is all you need for it. Uh, tools for construction is a tape measure, doesn't have to be one of these, can just be a shorter one, and a hacksaw. This is all you will need for constructing a basic Inge buffer. So this is one and a half meter pipe. And what we actually do is we're going to measure out to 75 centimetres. 75 centimetres is there. Doesn't have to be perfect. Mark it off and cut the area with the hacksaw. Other people use smaller pipes and then attach other things to them to make it fit the hole. I just pick a pipe that fits the hole straight off the bat. Okay, so take this, and we will also measure 75 centimeters. Is here. Measure 15 centimetres. Okay. This is the basic part of constructing the sword now. Take the pipe, place it on the inside, and push it up. This is why I use this pipe actually fits very well. Once you get it in, it holds on quite a bit. At this end, place it on and size the hand grip for your needs. We use boxing gloves usually to protect our hands while we're using these, so I need a large enough space for that. There's the basic sword. So next, Grab this, and we make a couple of angled cuts. On here. This allows the tape, when we wrap it, to bind on properly. Hold on to these bits. We're actually going to be stuffing them down the ends because we do not want the pipe to be coming out. So actually take it like so and poke it in the hole. This helps to create an area where the pipe will not come out. So make sure you stuff it all the way down to the bottom so that the whole surface area fills up. That is the basic sword constructed. Take our duct tape. Fit 
first piece over the end. use these ends to hit people. That's why we have such a large amount of tape on it. Basically, you tape up the whole sword. Making sure it's secured to the handle. You usually run a couple of pieces straight down the ends like so. Just to make sure. These are none too pretty, but they are designed to be made fast and cheap and get destroyed. So there it is, basic boffer sword complete. I will actually probably go over this again with another layer of tape or two to provide strength. So when you're actually hitting uh, other people with it, uh, you want that strength otherwise they start to split. So go over the whole length at least another time, uh, adding more tape on and you'll gain your strength. So list of prices. Uh, I got this all from Bunnings Warehouse. I got duct tape for $10, uh, pull noodle, $4 and the tape $8 so $22 and I have actually enough left over 
to make me another complete cheap and easy boffer sword. Uh, so it comes to about $11 per sword. Nice and cheap, uh, good to uh, use for a throwaway item. Uh, not, not really a uh, expensive one. You can buy real good ones for about $80, uh, and I'd probably cry if I broke that. Good for uh, full contact fighting, um, the training, or for something for the kids so they don't hurt each other too much. All right, thank you, bye.